Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to do the features review for new Catalon Studio version 7.6. So let's get started. This is the website of Catalon Studio, catalon.com. Just in case you are new to Catalon Studio, you can go on my website automationstepbystep.com and find tutorials on Catalon Studio. So here I am going to go to the website and I will go to documentation and I will go to the release notes for the new version 7.6 so I will go to Catalon Studio Enterprise and get started and what's new and go to the version 7.x and this will take me to the latest version which is 7.6 and this is the official release and this is as per this time the latest version so here are the new features and some improvements and some fixes so let us see one by one I have already downloaded Catalon Studio 7.6 version and here it is this is on my windows you can also check on your mac operating systems and using this exe file i have started catalon studio 7.6 version so the first feature is support self-healing web test and if you open the new version of catalon studio you will see this icon here which is for self-healing if i click here I can enable or disable self-healing from here. I can open the self-healing settings and open self-healing inside. So let me tell you one by one what is it. So if I go to the self-healing settings, here is a option from where you can enable or disable self-healing. Now self-healing is suppose while execution, if any of your locators fail or any of your any of the locators that you are already using in the object repository does not identify the object, you can uh, set here that what other locators can be used to find that object and here you can actually prioritize the element locator method so for any object there are multiple locators captured while you are recording your object so if I just go and show you so this is one of my projects I will go to one of the web objects and show you some locator or some object let me say let me go to this object so you can see here it has an xpath and while recording it has also captured some different xpaths and then attributes it has captured so many attributes for the object and if uh, css and image can also be captured and here when we go to the self-healing settings i can say that in case any of the locator which is set in the object repository for the particular object fails what other element locator methods can be used in priority so it will keep on checking all the other attributes and locator method and will try to find the object even if the primary locator fails and then in case you want to exclude any keywords for this self-healing mechanism you can add the keywords here now there was a plugin earlier added in catalon studio that was uh, self-healing xpath so if you go to the products if you go to catalon store here you will find there was a plugin earlier and it is still there which was for self-healing xpath and now it is improved and built into catalon studio version 7.6 so if i go to here and say self-healing and search for the xpath or search for the uh, self-healing xpath let me just search for xpath and you can see auto healing smart xpath was the plugin i also have a video on this so in case you want you can go to my channel and watch this and now this strategy this mechanism with improved capability is added within catalon studio from version 7.6 so you can use this now and this will be a very welcome step also in case while you have enabled self-healing and while execution if uh, any of your object locator fails and self-healing identifies some other locator or mechanism to find the object if you go to self-healing insights after that you will see the information about the test object and the broken locator the locator which was broken and what is the new proposed locator and then you will see screenshot and everything here and then you can manually approve or discard though the changes so in case you think that the new proposed locator by self-healing mechanism or self-healing tool is what you want to use in future then you can just check that and approve it so this was the first feature 
in version 7.6 self healing web test and i believe this is a very good feature a lot of time this happens that from the back end some locator or some object property changes so now we will be able to uh, identify those objects even if the primary locator fails so this is good uh, feature then we have support for timeout and maximum response size for api requests so this feature is if you have any api or web services requests in your Catalon Studio. So let me go to one of the SOAP requests and you will see an option here set timeout and response size limit. The same you will find in any REST API as well. So if I go to any of the REST APIs, you will see this option set timeout and response size limit. If I go here, this will take you to project settings, execution and web service. And here you can set the connection timeout, which is in milliseconds. So if you want to set a timeout that within this time, you should be able to connect with the server then you can put the time here the socket timeout this is the time uh, by when you should start receiving data so you can also set this timeout and if you want to set a max response size in bytes you can set there this as well and for people who are doing web services or api testing this is a very good option so again this is a very good feature which is added in this version and then the third feature is support retrying failed test execution immediately in test suite execution so here if you go to your catalon studio 7.6 and go to any of the test suites so let me just go to one of the test suites i will open this test suite here and here if you go to the execution information section now you will find a option retry failed executions immediately so earlier we had retry after all and then we can give the count of retry here and then here now we have a option by which you can retry the failed executions immediately so as soon as there is a failure you can retry the failed executions and you can also give the number of times you can you want to retry so again this box is to provide the number of times you want to retry so this is again a very good feature it can save time and uh, if you do not want to retry the failed executions after all execution is done this will be a good option for you so again a good feature uh, then we have fully support for selector strategies this is for mobile testing so this comes from the apm uh, selector strategy if you click on learn more this link you will find that now with mobile testing you can use all the possible selector strategies which is uh, supported by APM so now all these strategies which are supported by APM except the Android data matcher will be can be used within Catalon Studio so you can see these so this is for people who are doing mobile testing in Catalon Studio so all these strategies are now available in Catalon Studio in built so this was for mobile testing and then the next feature again is for mobile testing and this is for app center test integration so in case you are uh, using app center then you can do a direct integration now with catalon studio uh, then there is another good feature for api testing that is you can get your request from soap ui so this is again a good option if you have your project in soap ui and if you go to the object repository folder do a right click and say import here you will find a option from swagger and from wsdl was already there and now in version 7.6 we have from soap ui if i go here you just have to provide the uh, project or the xml project file of soap ui and then it will get all the requests from there into catalon studio and then you can directly work on your requests so this is again a very good feature and then so then we have some new windows keywords so if you are doing desktop testing with catalon studio there are some new windows keyword and you can see all this set encrypted text get attributes verify attribute value so these are some new keywords added for desktop testing uh, then we have another good feature here allow overriding browser type and execution profile for all test suites in a test suite collection via command line so if you go to command line if i click here this option console mode or build cmd here i can generate a command for command line execution and if you have a test suite collection if you select test suite collection here here you will find a option now override the execution profile and environment of all test suites so if you go to your test suite collections 
if I go and open any of the test suite collection, we have an option to provide the browser type for every test suite and the profile for every test suite. And just in case you want from command line to overwrite the execution profile and environment of all test suites, you can do it from here. So this is again another feature added. Uh, then we have our option support displaying description of custom keywords in test cases, same as built-in keywords. So if I go to any of my test case, let me just show you any of my test cases. So here, I will go and see one of the test cases here. All right, so let me go here. Now you can see all these keywords, click, uh, wait for element present, close browser, all these are built-in keywords and if I hover over any of the keyword, I can see the description. Now this was not earlier available for custom keywords. So if you have created any custom keywords or if you have got the custom keywords from a plugin, now you will get the description here. So if you see here, this is my custom keyword and I'm getting the description box, although I do not have any description. So it is not showing the description, but if I add a description to my custom keyword, it will show here. So you can check with any of the keywords and you can now see the description for custom keywords as well in the test cases. And then there are some improvements. So API tool integration becomes a built-in feature now. So if you go here, you will find a icon for Apply tools. And if I click here, you will see it takes you to the settings apply tools integration and just in case you do not know about apply tools apply tools is a visual validation tool so there was a plugin earlier for apply tools and i also have a video on this just in case you want to check you can check the video for apply tools catalon integration and this helps us to do a visual validation and visual validation means the look and feel the pixel size color everything on the web page you can compare or you can check using this apply tools apply tools is a separate tool and platform and catalon studio has integration with apply tools earlier it was a plugin that we used to add and if you see here in my catalon studio you can see two options for apply tools integration and this is because i have already added the plugin and now with version 7.6 we all also have the inbuilt integration and that is why I'm getting two options. So you just have to provide your Apply Tools API key. You have to create an account on applytools.com, provide your API key name and then you can do the integration. You can check my video if you want more information on this. So this is uh, one improvement. Uh, then there is some revamp on the project settings dialog. So if you go to project settings, there is some revamp. Uh, so this may be some UI changes or some uh, more improvements here. Uh, then we have supporting of Microsoft Edge Chromium driver in Catalan Studio tools. And then Chrome is now set as a default browser. So earlier, if you open a new project and you go to run, you would always find that Firefox was set as a default browser, but now Chrome is set. And just in case you want to check, you can, if you want to change, you can go to project settings. And when you go to execution, you can change the default execution browser from here, here but now Chrome is the default browser. Uh, there are some fixes for desktop testing set text keyword does not clear the current text before setting the given text. It is now uh, fixed. Uh, then there was unable to upload reports to QTest. This is again fixed. So these were the these are the fixes and these are the official release and features of Catalan Studio version 7.6. And I believe all these features are a, a welcome step and all these are very good features. And most of these features were recommended by the community, by the users, and therefore Catalan Studio has, uh, the Catalan team has taken uh, all these features and the most required features are now added with version 7.6. So I believe all these are good. All these will be helpful and you can now get Catalan Studio 7.6 and try all these features. I hope this was very useful for you. Thank you for watching.